Okay, so you're vlogging on a budget and you're using your iPhone or your Android phone or even your iPad to shoot video. And there's nothing wrong with that. You're on a budget and all you need is good 1080 video and that's what all the phones shoot these days. But we all know that the microphones that are in the phones and even in some of the small cameras, the in-camera microphone just is not up to the quality that the video is. So you need something. And this Video Mic Me by Rode is awesome. And I can sit here and talk about it, but you know what? I'm just going to take it out. I got to go hiking today and I'm going to use this and I'm just going to show you. It's not really a review, but I'm just going to show you how I use it and let you determine. I can tell you it's an awesome mic. It's, it's awesome. So let's take a look at it. And I have the Rode Video Mic Me. And of course, it has the windscreen on it right now. And I leave the windscreen on most of the time because I'm usually outdoors. So the Video Mic Me. The Video Mic Me is awesome. Let's look at that a little closer. Okay, so if we take the windscreen, pops off very simple. And so how this works is this, and it, mine is new, so it's a little tight. But this slides off and it slides on. Now you also have a headphone jack in the back of this. So if you want to do uh, listen to the sound on playback without taking the mic off or if you want to hear the sound while you're doing it, you can. So let's Now how this attaches. If you're going to do selfie video and you're going to be looking at the screen of the phone, obviously you would want the microphone facing towards you. But if you're going to be using your back camera, and taking video the other way you want it facing away all you do is plug it in it's very simple plug it in and then just bring it down to the point where it starts to pinch the screen and it doesn't have to you don't have to really smash it or pinch it tight just enough to hold it and that's it you're ready to you and you so if you want to move around do like this if you want to bring your legs out sometimes I Put that third leg back towards me like this and you can do some you know it's not going to be like a gimbal and it's not a steady cam but it's what you have to work with and you want to move around nice and simple like that obviously if you need to do you need to switch it you're going to do some front facing back facing it's as simple as that you just flip it around and you pinch it just a little bit like that and it's nice, tight, and steady. And, I mean, it doesn't fall out. Do whatever you want, twist it around, shake it. It moves around on the tripod, and this bounces around a little bit, you see on the rubber band, but you're pretty safe with it. And I'm not gonna hook the lavalier up here uh, but obviously lavalier is very simple. It goes in here. It connects to you. It's not doesn't have a very long cord But it is long enough that if you just want to you're doing some speaking and you want to be nice and clear And you want to drown out background noise uh, The lavalier is perfect for that. It has a little windscreen that comes with it and It's awesome. I actually have had the lot Okay, so you got to see this thing in action today and it was awesome that uh, video that I shot down at the creek it picked up the ambient sound of the creek very well there was a slight breeze blowing and I didn't really get the scratchiness that you would normally get when there's a breeze blowing past the microphone that's built into your mobile phone so the dead cat as we call it this muffler 
the dead cat d does an awesome job. There's a, it's a big, f for those that don't know, there's a big foam like cushion inside of there. And then there's this fur on the outside of it and it helps dampen wind. But it also, if you're speaking into it, it helps soften the pops from your lips and the S's and different things like that. But uh, so I, I tend to leave the dead cat on all the time. But what you've seen, uh, the video of me assembling this, that is actually a snippet from an, a larger video that I'm doing where I'm explaining my micro vlogging rig. And I will put a link to that down in the description here. And I'll put a link at the end of this video. So I kind of have two rigs. I have the M3 and then I have this micro vlogging rig, which is the Joby tripod. And then I use either the video mic me or what I'm speaking into right now is the Rode lavalier, which looks like, looks like that. And this is about $80 for the lavalier. And it is, I can tell you professional quality lavalier. I use it all the time, not just for speaking into the smartphone, but I use it for other stuff. And I'll have a separate video for that. So there it is. Um, video Mike Me by Road. I'm not getting paid to do this. I don't call it a review. I just call it an overview. And I, it's how I use it. And you can take the information from there and derive what you want from it. I try not to do reviews that get real technical and, you know, all the technical aspects of something because I find that people that are on a budget, a lot of times are just starting out and they're not, they don't really need to know all that super technical stuff. You want to keep vlogging is something you need to keep as simple as possible and this little micro setup that I have with this video mic me, I mean, this, the Joby tripod and your smartphone and a rubber band to hold it all together is about as simple and on the go as you can get. So, okay, everybody, check out the other reviews, hit subscribe. And, you know, if you like this video, let me know that you liked it.